this is the fingertip sticky beak grabber. Not only does it look fantastic with its colourful beak and its long neck, but it's got a great snapping action too. And it's really easy to work. All you do is you pull up and down on this cord here, and that is what opens and closes its beak just there. How cool is that? Now, the sticky beak grabber is a fun at fingertips and really is just for fun. I know. I don't know who's working it either. Now, if you want to make your own sticky beak grabber, then the first thing you want to do is get your fingertips on a great punnet or any similar container with a lid. And we give the sticky beak a fingertips difficulty rating of three. So it's fairly straightforward. Now, you need to attach the lid to the base of the container with a strong bit of sticky tape at the back like that. And you also need a large wrapping paper tube that you want to attach to the base of your container. And the easiest way to do that is make a hole in the base of the container with a pencil and then make the hole bigger so it will fit onto your tube. Then push the wrapping paper tube through that hole you've just cut, like that. And you might want to secure it in place with a few bits of strong tape. And if you do this on the inside of the punnet, it'll make it look much neater. Yep. Now, to make the opening and closing mechanism of your beak, you want to get a couple of paper fasteners and attach one to the back of the top lid, just here, and one to the bottom, just there. And then you need an elastic band. Now, this bit is a bit tricky, because you need to try and loop the elastic band around the top, just there, and then loop it around the bottom like that. There we go. And now it should open if I let go of it. Yes opens and closes like that. Now here's a fingertips top tip. If you do have trouble keeping it open, then you just get a smaller elastic band that will create more tension and then it will definitely open. Now you need to be able to close the lid, so get your fingertips on either some string or some fishing wire like this. And a piece long enough to go all the way through the tube. That should be just about right. Then pierce a hole in the lid of your container using a sharp pencil. Get the end of your fishing wire and poke that through the hole, like that. And you want to stick this firmly in place with some sticky tape. Lovely. Then you want to tie something with a little bit of weight to the other end of the fishing wire. We've gone for a big safety pin. And poke that through the wrapping paper tube. So then if you give it a bit of a shake, hopefully, it'll eventually, there, come out the bottom. So now if you pull on the wire at the bottom, it will make the beak open and close. And finally, just tie a curtain ring around this end of the wire. It'll hold everything in place and it makes a perfect handle. And for the beak, you just attach a piece of card or foam to the bottom like that and do the same for the top and keep them in place with paper fasteners just there. Now for the head, it's really easy. Again, a piece of card or foam. Just attach that to the top, like that, and paint the neck. And how would the sticky beak know where to find food without some eyes? So we'll just stick on a wobbly eye on either side of his head. Brilliant. And you could also add some extra detail to the beak, like a stripe and a coloured tip. And check out this hungry giraffe. We've painted on patches and given him a floppy tongue. And I'm rather flushed with success at this portable loo version, complete with its own toilet roll. So, get your fingers sticky. With a fun fingertips sticky beak.